My name is Bevan Drew, and I'm 21 years old. The way that you stop the violence in Evanston is to get all the youth, especially the youth, you have to get them all together and make sure that you show them how to work together in your community. Because if you work better together in your community, everything fluctuates way better, way better. The way that you get the youth to work better together is to put them in so many places, such as like Kurt's Cafe, you have Fleetwood Jordan, you have so many outlets in Evanston that could definitely put them in a better predicament. Like, for instance, there's basketball, there's sports, there's technology programs, there's so many outlets in Evanston. I came from Chicago, so most of the places in Chicago, you don't really get these type of opportunities. You mainly get the bottom of the line. So when you come to Evanston, you see all these opportunities, man, take advantage of that, because you might not go somewhere else and find these same opportunities. Um, I have been involved in violent situations and the only outcome of violence is death, hatred, and jail time. So basically you can pick your poison, but you know, no matter what with violence, you know, you can pick, but like I said, hatred, death, and brand new hatred is basically born behind that. You know, it's like who wants to go through so much hatred and you know non-love, you know, why can't we just show each other love? That's that's the key word, love. You can learn to love and you can do a lot more. I'm just saying that when you lose somebody, the way you feel is emptiness, you know? You, you have this feeling of emptiness, and once you start feeling that emptiness, like I said, a brand new hatred is born, you know? So for each person that you keep losing, all you keep on doing is showing them like, hey, this brand new hatred is being born, so your best guess is to not participate in those violent acts because I like Lately, you know, in Evanston, there has been a lot of violence, so a lot of people have been feeling empty. You know, you got families, friends, nieces, nephews, kids. Everybody is feeling some type of emptiness. So, personally, the only way you can go about violence and what's going on is appreciate your life, appreciate your family, appreciate your friends, appreciate the things you have. Thank God for your life, you know. The biggest answer to these questions is thank God for your life. And just black men in general, we all have this thing where we always want to have this type of power over something. Sometimes you don't need to fight over power. Sometimes you don't even need to fight at all. Like I said, you, you take the time to work together. You as a whole black man, black men, I'm only speaking to you. If you take the time to just work together, I guarantee you, you will find a lot more solutions, a lot less problems. When I first came to Kurtz, it was in 2013. I learned a lot of skill sets from Kurt's Cafe, from being in the kitchen, from learning to be able to talk to people, from interviewing skills, from even getting my education. Kurt's Cafe is wonderful. From like what I said before, it's a cultivating, unique restaurant training program. So you learn a lot here in general. I, like I said, I arrived here in 2013. It was like a rougher year for me because I was losing people. And when I came here, you know, they showed me hope. You know, that there's a lot of hope here, you know. There's still hope in Evanstonians. There's still hope in, you know, the, the town of Evanston, you know. What I learned here, besides like what I just said from the kitchen skills to the, to the uh, GED, it, like I said, it's how to treat people, you know, a certain way because you don't want to go just treating everybody any type of way. Sometimes you want to just go and, you know what, hey, if you treat somebody with the respect that they give you, you will be so much better off. And what I dream and what I aspire to do, I aspire to be a rapper, but I don't want to aspire to be a rapper without, you know, any type of skills behind it. I want to go to school to learn a trade. I want to um, go to Oakton Community College to learn that trade. And I also want to come back to the people who showed me the love that I needed because Kurt's Cafe, there's, you know, things going on in Evanston, you know, governor's not showing them the funds that they need, so it's like, you know, if I gotta come back here and show my city and my Curse Cafe, you know, cultivating unique restaurant training program love, I will. Like I said, the key word is love, people.